Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about what I'm doing to get prepared to start um, match betting. So in the last one I just gave like a quick introduction and said how I came across it and so forth. And I also mentioned that there's a few kind of precautions I'm going to be taking and that I'm totally new to this. So in terms of like precautions, these two things in particular that I'm talking about. The first one is quite simply human error. I mean from what I've learned, you know, match betting is touted as being risk free, which sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But it's not completely risk free because it relies on placing two opposing bets on different websites and they have to match up. You know, if you make a mistake like you put in the wrong amount or the odds have changed and you haven't realized or even if you bet on the wrong thing I mean I've heard of people literally betting on the wrong horse you know they bet on one horse on one website and on the other one they just misread it or misclick or something and bet on the wrong one and if you make mistakes like that you lose money and you could lose quite a bit of money so because I'm new at this I'm going to be taking it quite slow and or certainly at the beginning anyway until I kind of learn what I'm doing so there's that um, but the second thing in terms of precautions is you're going to hear about something called gubbing. This is something I have read a lot about. And what it is, is when you sign up for bookmakers, if you think about the bookmakers business model, they make a profit when us, the punters, make a loss. So they only want people that lose. They don't want people to win. And so... They don't like people that are consistently winning. Now that's something as a match bet you don't really have any control over. If you happen to place a whole bunch of bets and they all win and they decide oh, they don't want your business anymore, there's nothing you can do about that. But what they also don't like is they don't want people who are smart, people who are researching this stuff, people who are playing the odds, people who are match betting. You know, anything that we're doing, we're probably smarter than the average, what's called a mug punter, someone that just bets on their local team because they like them you know they've got no clue whether they're going to win or not because the odds are generally stacked to the favor of the house that's the way it works so for people like us who are going out of our way we're using software tools and all sorts of things to kind of manage our losses and so forth and guarantee profits they don't want people like us on their sites and so they will they track every single person that opens an account, they track the behavior, and if there's anything that looks suspicious, anything they don't like, they will do what's called gubbing your account. And this is generally um, one of three things. So the, the first most common is that they just won't send you any offers anymore. So they'll say, yeah, you can carry on using our account, but we're not sending you those freebies anymore. And that's a big blow because it's those offers that we rely on to make a good income. The second thing they do is stake restriction. So instead of being able to bet £10, £50, a couple of hundred pounds on something, they'll say, no, nah, you can bet 50p. That's it. That's your limit. So, of course, if you're dealing with tiny amounts, it's just not worth your time. And the third, I think it's quite rare. They'll just close your account completely. They'll say, right, thanks for your business. We don't want it anymore. See ya. So there's going to be, I've read a lot on this and watched quite a few videos on it. And because I'm cautious by nature I am going to be really careful and try my very best to keep all these accounts open for as long as I can from from what I understand gubbing is kind of almost inevitable um, you're going to get some accounts gubbed so I'm not sure how long term this is how much can you make and for how long presumably if you keep doing it eventually all of your accounts will get gubbed and it starts to get very hard to make money so that'll be interesting to kind of track. But I'm going to be doing separate videos on all the various kind of techniques or strategies that I'll be using to avoid gubbings. So the other thing I wanted to cover in this video is what I've done so far before starting to get prepared. So number one, I have created a separate email address. Now, if you think about signing up to literally dozens of bookmakers, you can imagine the amount of emails that you're eventually going to get once you've got all these accounts open. You're going to be getting tons of them, and I don't want that in my regular email, so I've just set up a separate Gmail. And the second thing I've done is set up a bank account. So this is NatWest, and I was really pleased actually at how quick it was to set up. I did it on Thursday afternoon 
online. Um, all I had to do was give a couple of forms of ID, passport, driving license, and I just scanned them on the computer, emailed it over, or uploaded it straight on the application process. So it was approved straight away, and then the next day, Friday, I had a text and an email saying, right, great, your account's ready to use, so I could put some money into it. And then the next day, again, Saturday morning, the, uh, the actual card arrived. So that's great. So it's Sunday today, still haven't started. <laughs> I've been doing some other preparation. So another couple of things that I've um, been doing are on the computer. So I will show that to you next. So one thing that I've done to get myself prepared is to prepare a spreadsheet. And this is so far just a list of bookies. Now, to be quite honest, I don't even know what I need to be putting in here because I don't know much about it yet. But I've just got a few ideas for stuff. So I'm going to keep track of the date I created the account, obviously the username and password, the deposit, how much I put in to start with. Now this reloads thing, um, this is where I mentioned that the bread and butter is having offers come through and these are called reload offers. They want you to reload your account with money. And um, there was a a post that I read somewhere which talked about which bookies are the best for reload so the three star are the top ones and the, the two star and the next ones down so this sort of set of bookies in particular I want to sort of take particular care of and really try to keep those one those ones open because they're probably the ones which will make the most money ongoing so offers here I'm going to keep track of how many offers there are and how many I take up number of bets Oh, I don't know, I'll probably track how many bets I've done. Sport 1 and Sport 2, um, I'm not sure if I'm just going to kind of stick to a couple of sports on each one, and I don't really know yet. So this is just a star. I've just listed some of the common bookies that I found. So this has probably changed drastically as I go along and actually learn something. But there it is anyway. Um, so the other thing I have done is I have signed up to this service called Odds Monkey. Now, if you've watched... If you've either watched any other channels or seen anyone else's website, you are going to have heard of this already. So Odds Monkey is a matched betting service website and they have all sorts of things in here. So they've got this like this profit tracker, they show how much money you've made. Um, yeah, they've got like training guides. There's 194 of them. If I come up to the menu here and this is kind of a small screen I've kind of squished it up for the video all these different types of calculators and matches and tools and all this stuff it's crazy there's so much stuff and then um, where are we there was something about they've got a big forum as well but like the training I'm going to be doing the training in particular working through where was it training guide so I can't find it now here we go, training, and look at this, there's, there's tons of them, all these different kinds of guides, they show you how easy or hard it is, so I'm going to be working through all the different kinds of things, so yeah, they start off, you start off with these new account offers, and then once you've done most of the new account offers, you move on to existing cu customer offers, and then there's other things, there's casino stuff, bingo, product guides, I don't even know what that is, advanced tips so there's a heck of a lot to learn on this journey but certainly I think my first few days few weeks maybe even few months I don't know it's going to be completing the new account offers because that's just a one-off now one thing about odds monkey is they have what is called if I can find it it's probably at the bottom of their website they've got an affiliate program so an affiliate program means that as you if you sign up and join as an affiliate you receive a 50% commission if you refer somebody. So everyone that has anything to do with odd, with odd, uh, sorry, with match betting, if they've got a YouTube channel, if they've got a website, Facebook group, whatever, they're going to be promoting this, and they're going to be promoting it with their affiliate link, me included. I mean, we're all in this to make money, right? So I just want to get that out there and make it clear. So yes, I'll put a link in the description of the video, and then you can click on it, and I'll earn some money if you decide to sign up. Anyway, so I have signed up um, I think I'm on a one pound free trial right now so I can use it for a pound for a week and then if I want to carry on it will be 17.99 a month now I think one of the main thing the main appeal for me is the training but also the, the tools 
these things like odds matcher, these calculators and things and all these different matches, these are what you use to make sure you can find the right offers and no that's I'm wording this wrong but basically you use these tools to, to guarantee your profit and that's how it all works if you don't use these sorts of tools you're doing everything kind of manually or in your head and that's where you're prone to a lot more error so as I get to use this site as I get to know it I'll probably do some more videos on it but for the moment I'm just gonna be working through those tutorials the training and start on these new offers so on the next video I'm going to talk about a kind of a technical subject um, something before I even sign up to a single bookie something I'm doing on my computer and then I'm actually going to start doing some of the diary posts where I show uh, where I actually get started start putting those initial bets on and, and see how much money I make so that's it for this one sorry it's been a bit of a long one but I've, I've done quite a bit to kind of get prepared before I start